Hello everyone, I am Pepino here, and this is a Minecraft forest, uh, but you may notice something a little different with this forest. That is because I'm using the Trees++ plus plus mod by Nightshade121. This mod adds 11 new types of trees as of now to your Minecraft world, some of which are very big, like this one and some of which have really cool colored leaves, like this one. Let's take a look at some of the different types of trees, and we'll start with my personal favorite, the angel oak. These trees have large trunks, and I think they are basically perfect for building a tree house, because look at all the different platforms, you could have tons of different rooms, and build really, really big structures up in the top of a tree, basically making the perfect tree house. Then we have the cherry tree, which is easily visible by its nice pink color and slightly red tinted trunk. Uh, good for if you like pretty colors, basically, or adding a little color to your Minecraft forest or world. Uh, same with this tree, which is the jacaranda tree. It is purple, uh, and again, you can use it, you can plant them wherever you want to add a little color to your Minecraft world. Another tree that would be good for building tree houses is the eucalyptus tree. Uh, they're really tall and they have lots of leaves at the top, so uh, you could build some pretty cool tree houses in something like this too. Then we've got the apple tree, which you can clearly see has an apple leaf on it. Uh, randomly they have little apples on their leaves, and uh, these trees will produce apples over time, as their name would suggest. This mod doesn't just add new trees to the forest, though. If we head over to the plains biome, we can find the cypress trees, and one of my personal favorites, the fig tree. The fig trees are big, like angel oaks, but they grow really close to the ground. Uh, so if you want to go deep inside here, you could probably build some pretty cool tree houses in these, too, just by digging out the leaves, you know, make yourselves little rooms inside here. I think you could do some pretty cool stuff with that. Then if we head over to the taiga biomes, we can find these yellow maples and red maples, which again, uh, have really cool colors, and you can use them, get the saplings, and use them to uh, add a little color to your Minecraft world. Another tree in the taiga biome is the sequoia and they are very tall they have a large trunk and a large canopy of leaves once again good for building tree houses so that's a cool little addition there and the final type of tree is the desert tree they are fairly rare but they spawn in the deserts and uh, for those of you who like playing in the desert biome this will be a nice source of wood for you uh, they grow on uh, dirt, so you will need dirt to replant them. They don't grow on sand, but uh, either way, it's still easier than leaving the desert every time you need to go get more wood. Now, some of you may be saying, okay, it's cool that they added really tall trees, but I always have to build a pillar all the way up there to get to the wood. Well, no, you don't, because not only did this make trees look better, it also made them more efficient by adding the same effect as the timber mod to all the trees you can easily cut down the really tall trees without having to worry about building all those little pillars and wasting all your time so not only do all the trees look really good but they're also really efficient for getting resources so if you want to have awesome forests like this in your world you should go check out this mod I will have a link to the download thread in the description for this video. And this is I am Pepino saying thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more awesome videos. We'll see you next time.